Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, we have a lot going on, but it is very exciting, and I feel like y'all need to stay tuned, listen to what I'm saying, and make sure you're taking notes. Now, my last video I posted on this channel was romantic fragrances for Valentine's Day, or just for romance, for love season. Now, in today's video, we need to prepare for that night, okay? If you get what I'm saying, do y'all get my drift? It's not just about the fragrance. It's not just about what your layering combination is. It's about your body care routine. And we're not gonna do hygiene in this video, guys, because I feel like we're all adults. And I think we all know how to take care of ourselves down there. You know what I'm saying? Drink a lot of water. Don't put any scented body washes or anything like that down there. Um, yeah, so we're here, right? Okay, as long as we're here. Now, in terms of your skin, in terms of your body care routine, smelling good from head to toe underneath your clothes, okay? And your skin feeling soft and not just to the touch, like not just an oily, shiny skin because you put on an in-shower moisturizer or you lathered yourself in oils. We're talking about getting down to the nitty gritty. You may not have any oil on your skin or lotion or anything like that, but your skin is still soft no bumps, no discoloration from dead skin built up on your skin. We're gonna talk about everything today in this video. We have some layering combinations. I mean, we got a lot going on. Okay, y'all, so if you're interested, then just continue to watch. Guys, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I know a lot of you guys always say, I've been watching you for months, sis. I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed. Now is your time to realize whether or not you are subscribed or not and you hit that button. Make sure it's gray, okay, and not red. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up the video so YouTube knows that you love my content. And make sure you leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Because if you look through my comments, you will see that I respond to everybody. So let me know what y'all like, what y'all don't like, what y'all smelling like, what y'all want to see from me, etc., etc., etc. Okay? Now, before we get into all... <laughs> all of this that we got going on here. Let me show y'all the earring that I'm wearing today. It is back in stock. It's the colorful floral hoop. This is what it looks like. It has the florals, like the two big flowers here, and then some crystals like around, and all this is like colorful crystals, like thin colorful crystals. It's lightweight. It's a beautiful earring. I get complimented when I wear it all the time. It is back in stock, y'all. Run, don't walk, because last week, Y'all done sold out all the uh, colorful floral hoops. So it is back. So if you want it, now is the time to get so it. So let's jump right into all we got going on here today. Now, I'm not saying that what I do in my routine is the 100% right way. It just works for me. I've been doing this for years. I'm not just now getting into self-care and body care. I've been doing it before it was called self-care and body care. And I told y'all that two years ago, okay? This is just something that I love. I've been cleansing myself and caring about my skin for a very very long time now for me what works for me are drugstore products okay i'm bougie okay yes we know that i love nice things i love designer i love luxury but when it comes to my body care nothing beats the drugstore for me okay i love my good old dove <laughs> okay i love my olays i mean it is what it is I love my exfoliating rags. I love my exfoliating gloves. I love my bar soaps. This is what works for me. I don't use chemical exfoliants on my body. I don't use body serums or any of that fancy, cool, bougie, new stuff that they got going on. I'm good old Dove, good old bar soap. I do have a bougie bar soap that I wanna share with y'all. But for the most part, y'all, I'm using Dove. I use about two to three body washes at a time. Now, I know a lot of you ladies have busy schedules, you have kids, and you don't have time for an extensive shower care routine all the time. But I feel like for Valentine's night or Valentine's season, or whenever you have a special date night, that's the time to allot maybe an hour or 45 minutes at least to your body care routine so that you can really get into it you know what i mean because once you start this body care journey you will not be able to stop because your skin is going to be so soft a lot of you guys complain about having 
you know, having to wear aluminum deodorant because you sweat a lot and the non-aluminum deodorants don't work for you. If you exfoliate under your arm, not anything crazy, you're not gonna break your skin or anything like that. You don't wanna harm yourself, but exfoliate yourself gently daily. And I'm telling you, you will not have underarm odor. You will not be sweating like crazy. You will not have to wear deodorant with aluminum because exfoliating your underarms is the key, okay? I don't care what kind of deodorant you use or what you got going on. I'm telling you guys from experience that once I started to exfoliate with my gloves, underneath my arm, I was able to not wear deodorant with aluminum. I also can get away with not wearing deodorant. I have to get my yearly exams and on those days obviously you guys know you can't wear any lotion or fragrances or anything like that i can be out the whole entire day after i get my mammogram and not have to worry about sweat i don't stink i don't smell anything and that's because i exfoliate my underarms so do not sleep on these you know amazon target products because these are what works okay i know the nice packaging on the luxury body care looks really nice and you know you want to get into it and you can if that's what you want to do if that's your thing then by all means go ahead but for me i'm doing what works for me and what has been working for me for years so like i said these gloves right here y'all so my thing what i do my first step in the shower is getting clean with a bar soap it can be any bar soap it doesn't have to be dove it doesn't even have to be a drugstore it can be fancy whatever it is for me i just feel like like bar soaps get me the cleanest so I use my gloves with the bar soap so I have the dove here to show y'all but I also have the Bath and Body Works bar soaps I love them so this is coffee and whiskey I don't have the coffee and whiskey fragrance or the spray or anything like that Bay has the um the body cream and I believe I bought him the mist I'm not sure but he has that line of coffee and whiskey for me I just use a shea butter bar soap because it's scented but it's not too strong but it gets me clean when I say squeaky clean like once you use a bar soap it could be this it could be dove whatever once you use a bar soap with these exfoliating gloves and you like you know you're exfoliating your skin you're lathering up once you rinse off you're gonna feel like a squeaky clean all the dirt all the grime all the excess build up all the oils all the lotions all the frame everything that you have on your skin is going to come off okay so we put the bar soap down i've rinsed off and now i'm ready to go in with a body wash now in terms of scented body washes guys it's not necessary in your like routine for me it's just i just love the scent experience i want to experience that scent from the shower to when i'm in my closet getting dressed to when i'm spraying my fragrance to you know being out all day so it's not like the body wash is going to help your fragrance last longer it just makes you smell good and if you're the person who loves to smell smell goods in the shower then for me like that's what i do because it's just fun <laughs> you know what i mean like point blank period it's fun like i said it's the whole scent experience the entire time from the shower to you know when you're out in the day you just want to smell whatever scent or whatever routine you're doing but if you're someone that doesn't have time or you don't know what scent you're wearing because not all the time i choose my scent in advance most of the time i do because i choose my fragrances by my attire where we're going you know what i'm feeling like but on those days when i don't have a clue of what i'm wearing my routine is an unscented dove um a uh, bar soap oh you know what i forgot to show y'all because i do have fancy bar soaps so here's my hermes bar soaps you can get these three not in a pack because you can buy them separately but i buy them three at a time and they put them in this box um so you can purchase one if you want to but i like to purchase three and i believe it's three for like 90 dollars or 80 dollars or something like that but the hermes bar soaps are very very fragrant they smell like perfume okay I absolutely love them. So this one is Eau de Rhubarb. And it smells like a nice tart rhubarb. It's really fresh. It's really beautiful, y'all. And this one is Mandarin Ombre. And it's a citrus one. So as you can see, so this is the citrus. This is the Mandarin. Um, This is the rhubarb. I forgot what was the other one. But like I said, it comes, you know, you can get three and they put it in a box. It's really nice. It's good as gifts. I give them as gifts all the time. Bay uses them. I give them for my mother. Like, they're just really nice gifts if you want to give somebody a little bit of luxury. And you can't go wrong with some soap. So, for me, I love, like I said, Dove products. So, if you want some moisture in the shower, 
Dove Moisture Boost Body Cleanser is amazing. I've spoken to you about this before. Um, I want to say sometime last year, and you guys told me that you purchased it and you love it. This is amazing, okay? It feels like you're washing your body with lotion. So after you've used your bar soap and you have that nice, squeaky, clean type of feeling, I like to then go in with a moisturizing wash. And this is unscented, so it doesn't matter what you're wearing. It's not going to put you in the mood for any fragrance because you're still confused of what you're going to wear. So this is just getting you clean and moisturized. So like I said, the Dove uh, Love Your Body Moisture Boost Body Cleanser. And it also has hyaluronic serum and moringa oil. So very hydrating and moisturizing to your skin so now i'm gonna put the gloves down okay so i use the gloves with my bar soap and a body wash now i'm going to use my eco tools bath cloth obviously this is brand new because i'm not going to show you the one that i use in the shower today <laughs> but let's just say for instance i'm going to use another body wash i'm going to use a body wash with this so this is the Olay Fresh Outlast Orange Blossom and White Tea. Y'all, if you love orange blossom, if you love floral scents, not sweet scents, you will love this. Okay, I have a routine that I did. I'm going to share it with y'all, but I just wanted to show y'all that if I use one body wash, then I'm going in with another body wash. Because like I said, two to three body washes. I allot the time for myself because it just makes me feel good. It makes me want to tackle the day. It makes me just focus. I just love my shower routine. I don't mind using two to three products. I stay a long time in the shower. And like I said, if I have to wake up a little bit early to give myself time to do it, that's what I'm gonna do. If I have to go to bed a little later, even though I'm dead tired, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm going to do. Now, another thing that I love to use in the shower is my foot shaver. <laughs> because you got to worry about the heels okay you got to make sure the heels are healing <laughs> they need to be nice and soft and it doesn't matter what kind of lotion or what kind of oils you put on your foot you need to make sure your foot is exfoliated and scraped and get the dead skin off especially if you live in the cold climate and you're wearing uggs and socks and sneakers this that the third your skin can get hard on your foot like that's just what it is so i do this maybe like every other day not every day but every other day, especially in the winter time, because like the dead skin just likes to form on my feet. So definitely have one of these. I'm going to link everything in the description box, guys. So, but this is like maybe eight to ten dollars from Amazon. It's like a cheese grater. It's super sharp, but it does the job. So y'all know that I purchased the Valentino Donna Born and Roma Intense, and it's right here. And I told y'all it is not it's not my favorite i do not like it i feel like they should have just left donna born in roma alone that's one of my favorite fragrances love it but i'm not a person that returns the whole return process is just so annoying to me i have to go to ups because this was sent to me ups you know put it back in the box and do this that and the third like i just it's just too much if i can walk into a store and return it and get my money back right away then that's something that I'll do. But because I purchased this from Valentino Beauty online, this has to go to UPS and the packaging and the shipping. And I'm not going to get my money back until like, what, five days or seven days, seven business days until they get it and, you know, whatever. So I'm like, I might as well just keep it. So I decided to try a routine and you guys have been asking me to do something to make it smell a little better. So what I paired it with is the Nest Indian Jasmine Perfume Oil. Y'all know I love this so so much it's so good y'all it's like a sweet floral it has like hints of a little green in the background i'm obsessed okay first of all let's say all the nest body oils are beautiful like if you guys want to get any of them just get them i have every single last one of them because they all smell amazing so i paired these two together and it was really nice now the only thing the only thing i'm gonna say she not left a, a bad taste in my mouth, okay? Like for me, I wanna be obsessed with my fragrances. I want my entire collection to be an obsession for me. You guys know I sit on here and I talk to you about fragrances and I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh, I love it, I'm obsessed. If I'm not obsessed with you, I don't want you. It doesn't matter if it's my fragrance, my clothes, my man. When I first met Bay, I asked him, I said, can you see yourself being obsessed with me? Are you obsessed with me right now? <laughs> Because I'm going to be obsessed with you. And the only way it's going to work is if both of us are obsessed together. Okay? So that's the same way I feel about my fragrances. So even though it was really nice, like the scent was nice and it was real cute with the Nest Indian Jasmine perfume oil. 
I just remember the day in the mall that she had me feeling like I was gonna be sick. All right, so I gotta share this combination with y'all. One of my subbies, I'm not sure of her name. I'm not sure who it was. But one of my subbies in my last video told me to pair Lost Cherry by Tom Ford with Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Now, let me tell y'all something. I always get suggestions from people about layering combinations and sometimes I'm like, hmm, interesting. I probably wouldn't pair that, but if it worked for you and you loved how it smelled, then, you know, that's all that matters. I'm probably not going to try it because I don't see them working together that way on my skin. But, you know, as long as we all smell good, as long as you're happy and, you know, coming up with combinations and you get in your life all day, that's all that matters. Now, when I read the comment and she said, Lost Cherry and Oud Bouquet thank me later, I thought about it and I was like, wait. That sounds like a damn good combination. Before even putting them together, I read it and I was just like, say less. So that night, I took a shower <laughs> and I did a routine, like a rose routine. And I did Oud Bouquet on the bottom and I layered Lost Cherry on top. Y'all, this has to be one of the best layering combinations ever. Oud Bouquet is oud and rose and praline. It's sharp. It smells strong. It's super strong. It's the most Middle Eastern fragrance I have, but I'm obsessed with this scent. It's very strong. A little bit goes a long way. It's sweet. It's rosy. It's oudy. It is everything, okay? I love this fragrance. I will always have it. It's a powerhouse, okay? I'm not in the mood for it all the time because like I said, it's very oody and rosy and Middle Eastern, but it is everything, okay? Y'all, with Lush Cherry on top, as y'all know, Lush Cherry is almond. It's um, cherry liqueur and cherries, all the things together. If y'all have these two fragrances, please layer the two and let me know what you think. For my subby who suggested this combination to me and said thank me later, Thank you, girl. Thank you, because this was everything. Y'all really out here smelling like this. I'm like, yo, when I think I'm doing something and y'all come and tell me, oh, do this and do that, I'm like, wow. I would have never thought to put these two together. But honestly, y'all, this is a winning combination. People always say layer this with Baccarat Rouge by 40 or layer this with Delina, and I'm not doing that. If it works on your skin, then, you know, then fine. For me, I like to layer things that work well together that I can see working together. You know what I mean? Because honestly, Oud Bouquet has pralines and Oud and Rose, and those notes will go together with what's in Lost Cherry. You know what I mean? I don't like going too far out of the realm because sometimes, like, I've tried things that people have told me to try, and I'm just like, yeah, no, this isn't it. Not on me. It may smell that, you know, good and bomb and everything on y'all, but for me, it just doesn't work. But this combination right here, and another one of my subbies told me to try uh, BDK's Gris Charnel with Blanche Bet. I did that, and that was amazing. I got compliments the day. I think I wore that when we went horseback riding, and I was getting compliments the entire time. Like, we went out, we went to brunch, and we had, like, a long day. And everywhere we went, I was getting complimented. That combination is another winning combination. So, y'all, try this if you have it. Spray more Lost Cherry, because as y'all know, Oud Bouquet is a beast, and she will roar Lost Cherry down, okay? So spray a little bit, not a little bit, but spray moderate of this but then overspray this get your oody rosy cherry sweet liqueur life okay amazing oh my goodness oh speaking of cherry so i just wanted to bring this out to show y'all this is my cherry body wash all right i've been showing this to y'all since last year this is I, I mean i have multiple backups of this i love this right it's the tart cherry by a degree and it smells like tart it's tart and it smells like a tart sour candy to me now dove came out with a cherry body wash and y'all are telling me about it but y'all i've known about it but i cannot get it in store i have to do like a curbside pickup but i actually just want to go in store and smell it 
and then buy it. I don't want to go to curbside, pick it up. If I smell it, I don't like it and have to return it. I don't want to do that. So I'm just waiting and there's no rush because I have this one that I need to um, go through. As you can see, this is brand new. And then I have two more backups of this. So once I finish these, or at least this one, then I'm going to smell the other cherry by Dove because I feel like it's going to be... I feel like it's gonna be good. It's cherry and chia milk or chia seed milk or something like that. But I'm definitely interested in that because y'all keep telling me and I'm like, I know, but if I get it and I smell it and I love it, then I'm probably not gonna use these. So let me just finish these out a little bit or at least finish this one and then I'll get to the Dove cherry. But I'm very interested in that y'all. So let me share with y'all a fragrance routine that for Valentine's night or any night, if you want to be sexy, if you want to snatch his soul, his or her, whomever soul, this combination right here. Let's just, let me just get into it. So Kama Sutra, y'all know it's, in and out of stock. Y'all have to be very diligent, be very quick. Follow Skin Potions on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I will let you guys know when these products are back in stock. Go on the website on Skin Potions and put yourself on the, um, is it like a, not the mailing list, um, to be notified when these things are gonna be back in stock. Do that so you can get it because you need this. There's no if, ands, buts, no questions. I'm letting you guys know cookie butter and kama sutra y'all need everything on the website is fire let's just start there because i have most if not all of his offerings but the main ones y'all need is kama sutra and cookie butter kama sutra is a fruity rose it has oud it kind of smells like delina exclusive but on another level you know what i mean like this is just i mean when i i can't even I mean, it smells like a rosy ice cream with fruits. I mean, like the scent like of this right here, I cannot put it into words, y'all. Just know you need it, okay? You need to run out and get it. Get backups if you can. So this is what I started with, okay? And not even just the scent, okay? Like, let's just start with the fact that the consistency of this, it's a body butter, but it breaks down into an oil on your skin. Look at that. Do y'all see that? I mean, obviously you see that. So look at the before and then look at the, <laughs> I mean, it is just incredible. And the scent, I've never ever had a product that is so super moisturizing. It leaves me hydrated with a glow because I love my skin to glow. And I don't mind this, the feel of oils and lotions on my skin i know a lot of people say that they don't like it but for me i love it <laughs> i just love how this feels against my skin so it's going to hydrate you moisturize you and give you a glow and you're going to smell like a fragrance so like i said you need it so i went in with the kama sutra first and then i put my mfks remember i told y'all that i use this and I was going to tell y'all what I did, but I was like, I'm not going to tell y'all just yet. I'm going to wait till my layering video. I used Oud Satin Mood, the oil, because the fragrance don't like me. The oil, y'all, is so beautiful. It's Oud and Rose, but it's like a creamy Oud and Rose. It just pairs so beautiful with this. So if you have the Oud Satin Mood fragrance, I feel like layer that with Kama Sutra and get your life, okay? Oud Satin Mood oil. Let me see if I can hold all this stuff in my hands. And then, Fragrance Subois, New York, Fifth Avenue. I think I told y'all before that this to me is a more, it's a more wearable, a more sweet gourmand take on Oud Satin Mood. This has caramel, okay? This has rose, this has cypriol oil, um, which smells like Oud, this has caramel. This is a beautiful powerhouse be smooth, long lasting, everybody gonna smell you fragrance, okay? I don't think it's for everybody and I don't think it's a safe blind buy because it is a unisex scent, but it's one of those unisex scents to me that doesn't lean masculine because as you guys know, I do not like smelling masculine. Um, I just like smelling good, okay? And for me, it is perfect. But what made it even more perfect, are y'all ready? 
Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir Rose. Y'all, look at this. Just look at it. And just know that if you put these two on your body with the Kama Sutra and the Oud Satin Mood Oil, nobody, nobody, say it with me, nobody is going to be smelling better than you. Period. Okay, you, you gotta do the p with the p period, all right? Y'all, this was so freaking fire and it lasted on me all day. So like I said, this smells like oud satin mood, but definitely heavy on the rose. You smell the oud, but it has caramel, so it sweetens it up a little bit. This, as you know, is like a fruity rose musky scent. The two together, y'all, this right here is, I mean, it's just explosive. It's sensational. It's everything in life. Like, you need to do this if you have these. You can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20 and get Fragrance Dubois, New York, Fifth Avenue. It's a super long name, y'all. Fragrance Dubois, New York, Fifth Avenue, um, EDP. No, it's an extra day parfum. So that's the first combination I want to show y'all. Now, an oh, you know what? Almost forgot. So if you wanted to do... The same layering combination with Kama Sutra and the Oud Satin Mood uh, Oil and the New York Fifth Avenue fragrance. If you don't have this or you don't want to use it with this, Tiffany Intense with this is another vibe. I think I told y'all a very long time ago on my channel that this smells like a super sweet feminine version of Oud Satin Mood to me. And I've showed y'all before that I've layered these two together. Do not sleep on Tiffany Intense. Okay, let me show y'all my dent. Let me, ooh, let me show y'all how much I love this fragrance. So y'all see my dent? This is gonna be another repurchase because I love this so much. Let me get my cat. So you can do this pair together as well and get your life with the um, New York Fifth Avenue. So I just wanted to give y'all another option. And I don't really speak about my Tiffany fragrances that much on my channel, but I love them. I love this one and I love the rose gold. My two favorites love them so much. They smell sweet and feminine and sophisticated. I just love them. So, the next one. Woo! Are y'all ready for this? All right. Cookie Butter Body Butter by Skin Potions. OMG. Like, honestly, Ray is a freaking mastermind. Like, this smells like ice cream to me. It smells like cake. It smells like cookies. And I was not the literal gourmand person. Like, I've became that way sometime last year. But y'all, this smells like something that you literally want to eat. If you love gourmand scents, like cookies and cake and cake batter and things like that, please, I'm begging you, please get cookie butter. And you guys can save 10% on skin potions with my discount code um, AI the Great, okay? But get cookie butter. So cookie butter went down first. Oh, actually, no. Cookie butter went down second. The first thing I used was the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Fermeza Oil. Y'all, it smells just like the Boom Boom Cream. It smells just like the fragrance. But it's an oil. And I had to get it. It is so fragrant. I love a fragrant oil. So if you love the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, then you need to get this, okay? It's not that cheap. It's about $60. It claims to firm your skin and de-bloat and de-puff you. But y'all, get it because you love oils and because you want a highly scented fragrance oil. Not because you want to not have bloat and cellulite, okay? Because I don't think this is going to do that for you. But it smells very fragrant and I love it. So that went down first. And then I went in with my cookie butter that I'm obsessed with. But y'all, oh my goodness. I be trying to calm down and just scale it back sometimes for you guys. But these things make me excited. I'm so sorry. So after that, I went in with my Wrapped in Vanilla by Bath and Body Works. Now, this came out, I want to say sometime last fall or maybe last um december i'm not sure when it came out but y'all it smells like a vanilla cookie it's not the um the vanilla scent that everybody raves about from bath and body works that i can't stand um what is it 
y'all know the vanilla one i'll leave a photo up i can't stand that okay back in the day i had it but even when i had it to me it smells like chemicals it smells like a chemical vanilla scent and i could not stand it and it wasted i didn't even use it but this right here wrapped in vanilla it's more of like i said a vanilla cookie and not like a straight up sweet vanilla y'all it smells so good and when i tell oh my god it smells so good and when I tell you it lasts on my skin, it projects, and yes, it is a fragrance mist, but it did that. Like, it lasted on my skin, it projected, I have no reason to lie to y'all. This, with the cookie butter, and this was my base. And let me show y'all the topper. Are y'all ready for the topper? Dates Delight by the House of Oud. Let me tell y'all. This has nothing to do with each other, okay? Not a thing. This isn't like a gourmand scent. I mean, it has dates. I believe it has fig. It's not a fragrance that's like a cookie type scent or anything like that. But guys, it just worked. It just made so much sense together. I absolutely loved how I smelled. Let me tell y'all the notes of Dates Delight because I do have them here. And I don't know what made me put that together. Because that's not a combination that... Sometimes I look at the notes and, you know, I'll do my combos like that. But this day, I was just feeling froggy. <laughs> um, so in Dates Delight, we have dates, cinnamon, caramel, honey, and peony. That's what it was. It's the caramel, it's the honey. And as you know, like this is caramel, honey, sweetness. It just makes sense, okay? It just works together. This isn't a masculine scent to me. Um... I guess it's unisex, but it doesn't lean masculine in my opinion. But I can see a man wearing this, but it's not a masculine scent. But together with all of this, I ain't even gonna hold you because you already know nobody was smelling better than me, period. Now, another combination that I want to show y'all. I mean, I had a real good scent week, y'all. My scent week was crazy. So I did another um, ginger routine because I've been doing a lot of ginger routines because ginger just goes with a lot of fragrances. Whether the fragrance has ginger or not, it just works. So I did my ginger routine in the shower and then I went in with my ginger souffle, the whipped body cream. Now I have the oil to this, but because my next step after this was an oil, I didn't want to do an oil with the cream and then another oil because that's just too much. So, and my skin is already moisturized, so I don't necessarily have to always go in with the oil. I just love oils. But out the shower, I just used the ginger souffle and I was highly moisturized and I was smelling like ginger. Now, the second step, I used my Ani body oil. Now this is a hair and body oil, but guys, I don't put this in my hair. This smells like perfume. Okay, this is so super strong. I tell you guys all the time, this is like a perfume oil. It's more than a body oil to me because it's super fragrant. I mean, just smelling it through the nozzle. Oils are sometimes not as fragrant. Like they're fragrant for an oil, you know what I mean? But you're not expecting the oil to smell so strong like perfume. And that's what this oil smells like to me, y'all. So, we, I'm gonna show y'all. We about to get to it. So, Origins Ginger Souffle with the Ani oil. And you can get this from soavanguard.com and save 20% using my discount code, the great 20 So, Ani, right? Ani oil. So, obviously, I'm gonna use Ani. Y'all know sweet ginger, green, vanilla fragrance. It's a masterpiece. It's everything. I absolutely love it. Look at my dent. She's a powerhouse. She's a beast. Ani is everything, okay? I mean, I talk about this fragrance a lot on my channel. I don't think I have to keep beating it in y'all's head. Y'all get it, right? Ani is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. I don't think it's a safe flying by because I've heard, like I said before, like some women think it leans masculine on them. So try to get a sample. Um, don't blind buy it, but trust me, this is everything. So, shall we gonna see if we could do this right here? Okay, so the Origins Ginger Souffle, Ani Oil, Ani Fragrance, and let me show y'all what I topped it off with. Are y'all ready for the topper? Y'all gonna be like, oh, you phony. <laughs> Zerjoff Lyra. Y'all know I recently got this sent to me by Twisted Lily. It's my first Zerjoff. Zerjoff. Can y'all say that 10 times fast? My first Zerjoff fragrance, and I 
absolutely love it. To me, it just gives a sweeter... Her and Anya cousins, I'm convinced. I'm telling y'all, like for me, like when I smelt it, it smelled like a sweeter version of Ani to me. So I felt like this would be beautiful to layer with Ani. Yeah, it's something about this fragrance. Let me tell y'all. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so beautiful, like feminine, kind of gourmand. I took the tassel off y'all because I don't know what happened, but it got caught on something and it started to fray and I didn't like how it looked. So I just got rid of it. So in Lyra, we have, oh, I don't have the notes for Lyra. Ooh, I didn't write this one down. Ooh, no. Okay, but I believe it has... I'll put the notes on the screen for you. Um, but yeah, I believe it has caramel. I'm not sure, y'all. But either way, I just know that with Ani, I was in the post office the other day mailing off some earrings because y'all have been ordering the earrings. Thank you guys so much. So I was in the post office sending y'all's order out. And when I tell you, the lady that was helping me, I felt like, like, are you trying to kidnap me? Like, are you going to jump over the counter and, like, sniff me in my neck? She kept complimenting me. She was like, oh, my God, like, you smell so good. And I don't know if y'all go into post offices, but post offices have a scent to me. It doesn't matter where it is, whether it's in the hood or the nicest area ever. It just always has a scent to me that's not very pleasant. So she was loving me that day because I was in the post office for like 30 minutes shipping off you guys' um, packages. And she was enjoying it the whole entire time. I felt like she didn't even want me to leave. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. So Origins Ginger Souffle. Are y'all taking notes? Ani Body Oil. And you can save 20% with my code, the great 20. The Ani Fragrance and Zerjoff Lyra. So beautiful. Now, do I have time? I think I have time to show y'all one more routine. Um, which one? Okay. It's not really a routine. It's Delina. Because you guys have told me that um, a lot of y'all are wearing Delina for Valentine's night. So I was like, let me just show them like my Delina routine. So when I wear Delina, obviously, you guys know Dove soap, whatever bar soap. And then I'm going in with the Dove Renewing Peony and Rose Oil Body Wash. I showed y'all this before. This is so beautiful. It's super fragrant. It's a beautiful, pure rose. It smells sweet. I love this. Okay, I told y'all, do not sleep on the drugstore. I am a Dove and Olay body wash girl, period. Okay, it is what it is. That's my first body wash. And then my second body wash is by Molten Brown. And this is called the Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Shower Gel. And that is exactly what it is. Rhubarb and Rose and it smells delicious. Y'all, this is so beautiful. I told y'all that before. Like, if you don't like Delina, you won't like this because this is sweet, but it has like a tart scent to it because that rhubarb is rhubarbing, but I love it. It smells so fresh and tart, almost like raspberry-like as well. Like, this is so amazing. So, bar soap, body wash, the Dove um, Peony and Rose Oil, the Molten Brown Rhubarb and Rose, and, of course, the Stara of the Body Wash show, our Delina body wash this is something that i keep on hand all the time i have multiples of these i have backups of these because this smells so freaking amazing it smells just like delina it is very very fragrant your whole entire bathroom the whole entire area where the bathroom is everything is going to smell like this right here because this is potent okay this is the most potent body wash and it smells just like delina like i said this is amazing i never run out of this okay this always stays in my shower if i could have this on auto purchase i would because i never want to be out of this like that's how serious it is with me and this delina body wash y'all when this came into my life it changed like the whole game of body washes because this is like a perfume body wash all right they put their whole foot in this so if you love delina you need the body wash period okay it smells so amazing Another like Rose Delina-esque body wash that I love 
is the Body Wash Mousse by Dove. This is just for shaving. Like if you guys wanna shave like your last step after you exfoliate your skin, then you shave. This feels so luxurious on your skin. It makes your skin feel very soft and supple and moist. It smells amazing. It's like, um, like whipped cream. It comes out like whipped cream and it smells like rose. If you love rose, you need this, okay? I don't think, I'm gonna try to link it, but I don't see them that much, but the body mousses are just a beautiful last step in my routine that I absolutely love. So, now I have the Delina body oil to show y'all because I mean, I purchased it, so I have to use it. I told y'all it's not my favorite because it's not as fragrant as I would want it to be, but it is what it is. But if y'all can get y'all hands on the Kama Sutra body oil by Skin Potions, listen, do y'all see this? Look at that. I mean, the proof is in the dent. This is everything. Now this right here, put yourself on the list for this, all right? Like if y'all don't do anything else from this video, if y'all don't get anything else, if y'all don't get anything else from Skin Potions, you need this revitalizing body oil with bulgarian rose this is so incredible it's like another perfume oil i absolutely love it so now you need a body cream so we're gonna go in with our delina body cream now if you're no stranger to this channel y'all already know i love the scent of this it is very potent but i don't like the consistency however once you lay your oil down and then put this on top it's gonna melt right into your skin the scent, i mean when i tell you how can somebody not smell you when you're wearing Delina? From the shower oil or the shower gel to the oils and the body creams and like, this is just a very loud, potent fragrance. Like that's why Delina is that girl because people are going to smell you. You smell so feminine, so pretty, so girly, just so sophisticated and classy. I absolutely love all the Delinas, okay? Now, if you're someone that likes hair perfume, then you need the Delina hair perfume because it's very soft in scent, but you smell it, you know what I mean? And the consistency of this, it's kind of, it has like oil in it. It's not oily, it doesn't weigh your hair down. Whenever I have static in my hair and I use this, like the static is gone. So it has some type of oil in there. It doesn't make your hair hard or anything like that, but it definitely smells like Delina, I love it. And the packaging is so super cute. And I showed y'all the hand cream, okay? You need this. It is super tiny. It looks like, why is she showing me a sample? But it is giving, y'all. I'm telling you, you need this hand cream. Super potent, super loud in scent. You will not regret it. And of course, you're gonna top off with your Delina. This is Delina Exclusive. Now, if you wanna roar like a beast, like if y'all want a dinner, right? And you want everybody in the restaurant to smell you, you want everybody to turn around when you walk past them, you're going to layer Delina Exclusive with Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Listen to me when I tell you, everybody is going to be smelling you. This is so beautiful. You do this whole entire routine. You spray this and then spray this on top. Listen. I mean, honestly, y'all, there's no words. Like, there's honestly no words. Like, you can put this together in your mind, like in your scent imagination and smell this because this right here is incredible. And I feel like this video is way too long. I do have some more combinations for y'all, but I don't wanna hold y'all no more, okay? So leave it in the comments below and let me know some other combinations because as y'all can see, I definitely use y'all combinations and I take your suggestions because Y'all are out here killing the game, and I'm so thankful that y'all are on this channel and sharing y'all's wealth and scent experiences with me as well. So let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.